know everyone. I have a package. Let's open that package. I'm Troublesome Junction, and I'm bringing you, once again, another Ertl video. Now, uh, this one, I don't know how to. I think it's going to go about saying this. Also, remember what I said about uh, being very careful with your knives. You don't want to be too rough with your knives when you cut stuff. Because then you could eventually cut yourself. You don't want that to happen, now do you, boys and girls? Well, this Ertl video, I mean, if you read the title to it, I won't, I'm not going to say it though until I finally get it open, but this is a one that if you don't have this, you really can't consider yourself a Thomas the Tank Engine collector, because this is like one of the most iconic things for every Thomas fan to have in their collection. If you're a dedicated Thomas fan, like myself, you might want to consider picking this up if you don't have one. It took me a little while to get one because, not that like, oh it was too expensive or anything else, but no, I just never got around to it. And it is, oh and it has a new type of package too, nice. It is the Ertl. Thomas the Tank Engine. Whoa! He took the tumble. I'm actually really happy to have gotten this package though. So I'm just gonna go over the package real quick. Looks really nice. I'm actually really happy to get this one. Although on Amazon it did say it was the Shining Time Station one, but I mean, hey, I'm not complaining. I, I do much prefer the, um, I mean the white, um, uh, coupling rods on the side, kind of like an Oliver is what's on the Shiny Toe Station one, but the couplings are like how James's are. Yeah, I did, I brought all my hurdles over just in case I need to make a comparison. Ignore this, this is a project that I might not finish. So, uh, I figured, I don't know if I mentioned this, but, uh, yes, I do, I am very congested. So what year is this one? It looks like, oh, uh, right there. Year I was born in, uh, it's not gonna focus. It is a uh, 2002, aka seven, one, 15 years ago. 17. I, 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 I was saying that because it means 2017. Well, anyways, without uh, further ado, let's open this up. Uh, I don't know what. I might just open it up with my hand. I'm really happy to get one of the hurdles into. Uh, this package because I did not have this one. I only ever had uh, Shiny Time Station, which all of my stuff is over there. Yes, my train table is a mess because a lot of stuff has been going on. That's also another reason why I haven't been uploading that much. I also have another video I'm going to be making talking about uh, things that are going on in the Thomas community and things to change for this channel. Basically, a channel update 2.0. And yes, Big World Big Adventures will be talked about. If you don't know about that thing, I'll just leave it for the video. So, coming in for this unboxing over here. There we go. Pop that out. Uh, gently uh, throw this uh, package out of the way. Ever so gently. Alright, so uh, first off, it's hollow. You can see I have a finger moving back in there. First thing I've, I've seen. But yes, this is the classic uh, Ertl Thomas, the tank engine. Uh. So uh, there's the face. It's not exactly accurate to uh, the uh, like the season five Thomas or the season like seasons one through six Thomas. But I mean, it it's just something that's really iconic for all, most Thomas fans. Just seeing this face would bring back a lot of memories. I can guarantee that. And of course it has the uh, side rod details, like unlike uh, Take Along, Take and Play and Adventures, Ertl was one of, I believe the only die cast range to actually do this. Also, um, there was a few other ranges that did this, like uh, uh, sort of like Trackmaster and Tomy, but like Nakayoshi and uh, the Bandai ones had the side rods on it. 
Uh, I'm not going to go into deep detail about that. Uh, the buffers, they are painted, surprisingly. They are much like the uh, Devious Diesel the buffers that are painted on there. And uh, the couplings are a lot smaller than like what uh, James has. This is from the uh, Shining Time Station era one. I got this one used about a couple months ago. I never made a video on it. Though. They are much like uh, D261s over here. They're the skinnier uh, couplers. I was kind of hoping for this one to, be, like, to come through just because of, they just look a lot skinnier than uh, what James has. Uh, yeah, that's and I'm actually quite happy to have this one on board. Uh, the cab right there, this this is all one sticker, much like uh, Oliver's. But James, though, he's an unusual one because his is like a, a laminated type sticker right across there. It's not like how Oliver's is, just a plain old paper sticker. I uh, don't think it'll show through on camera, but you get the, you get the gist of it. The whistles on it are kind of unusual because it's just two rectangles with lines on them. Uh, you can kind of see it there. I already talked about the face. The um, photo's a bit small, but I mean, at the same time, it does look it does look really, really accurate to what you did see in the television series. Ertl did not hold out on what their proportions are in all of them. They did not hold out on proportions and all of that and such. They really took care into their models. Oh, we got the coal detail. It looks really nice. Uh, it does have pinwheel axles. I want you to see them, but I'm going to focus off camera real quick and look. Because the box sometimes has a different date. Uh, yeah, this on the bottom says 2001. Yeah, this is like really phenomenal too. For the price that I paid for this, which was like $16, well $15.99, and I got it through Amazon Prime. To uh, get it, this is actually really good, and I'm really quite happy to have this on board because you cannot call yourself a Thomas collector if you don't have the iconic Ertl Thomas, or at least even one Ertl. Yeah, this is without a doubt my favorite range. I think I went into more depth on that on my D261 video. Uh, just click on my channel and you'll find it. I really apologize for that. I just really had to get a video out because I haven't posted one in uh, about three weeks. So uh, I really want to make a video on this one. I'm going to keep going over the detail. has the square on the back of it. doesn't have the headlamp though because I mean, you know. But it is somewhat inaccurate of how big it is. It should be like cut right here similar to this size and cut off along there with the headlamp there. I can see why they didn't have the head headlamp because I mean they already got it enough. Let's be honest. Yellow striping around uh, the window up here. I don't quite remember there being a second window here with the cab. I don't know. I gotta look at a Thomas and just see if that's actually accurate. I never noticed that. If so. I uh, got the nice number one there. I noticed that this number one and the one on the pullback hurdle look a lot different. Plus, the face looks a lot more accurate on that one. So I'm, I might do, I might get that one because I found it for like twenty dollars on Amazon. Not a bad price for that. And that's basically all I gotta say for this hurdle right here. It looks really good to what you got from seasons. Of, I think hurdle is around. It, like they stopped producing Ertl's in 2004 for the UK but 2000 for the US so I can definitely say man this is one accurate toy from what we're seeing compared to what we're seeing up today I mean down flaw, flaws with this toy maybe the coupling system very similar to Adventures but Adventures definitely did improve on the coupling system and I also kind of don't like the fact that you can see straight through the model, but I mean, like that, I don't know why it slightly bothers me, but I don't really care all that much. I'm just really happy to have Earl Thomas on board. And that's basically all I got to say for this video. Just a nice little Thomas toy to have. 
but I definitely would have to give this a 10 out of 10, of course, because it's the Turtle Comics. The, it's not the original Shining Time Station one. Let me get them all lined, my little do lined up here. And I feel like yeah, they can go for themselves. They can go for themselves. Really quite happy to have all of my hurdles all in line. Now. You know, in fact, I'll probably get these are all the hurdles I have so far. I am definitely trying to get as get as many hurdles as possible. Ignore all this stuff. This is like super glue and uh, red paint from uh, me making this little tug mine over here. But I'm not going to get into detail about that. You people have uh, given me on Instagram asking about that, but don't worry. It's just because. I will replace this with grass. So that's all I gotta say for this video. Definitely a 10 out of 10 for this Ertle Thomas. And I would highly recommend it for anyone who's a true Tom's collector out there. You honestly can't consider yourself a die-hard fan if you don't have one of these little gems in your collection. So that's all I gotta say for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because the share button honestly isn't even a thing anymore. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and as of the time of recording this, we are just on the verge of hitting 110 subscribers. Thank you for that, and that's all I gotta say for this video. I will see you guys on the flip side.